Canva quiz maker, how to make a quiz on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can build quizzes like this. So these are super popular nowadays. They are, you know, these simple quiz videos. It has general information and you can easily replicate these kinds of videos and build it with your own niche category. You can build them in general knowledge niches. You can build them in a industry specific niche as well. And I'll show you guys step by step how. So to get started, I will log into my Canva account and we are just going to search for our particular size that we want. So I'm going to search for YouTube and once you search for YouTube, uh, we're just going to add YouTube video and this will show you different templates available for YouTube videos. So I'm just going to take a welcome template and I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm just going to click on customize this template. And I'm going to change it and I'm just going to add this one over here like so we have our text we're just going to adjust everything a little and I'm just going to add this travel quiz or like this and then I'm just going to place this back like this I'm not gonna place it over there we're gonna make sure our background is locked so it's not adjusted so our image is not adjusted into it. So I'm just going to take our block in the background, this and move it up a little like so, and then place this back into where it was like so. And I'm just gonna move it down a little like this. So I'm just going to adjust the position of this a little, speed round like this. We're just going to add this, you know, whatever you want to add about your quiz. And I'm just going to enter all of this information over here, like this, speed round. And then after that, I'm going to add another frame. Now, from here, I like to use ChatGPT to optimize some of my questions or build my Q&A. But before we do that, we are going to go into elements and search for background. And you can take any background that you like. I'm going to go into graphics and I want a dynamic background so I'm going to take something like this expand it all over and then I'm going to rotate this so it easily covers the entire screen and you can click on animate over here and scroll down and you can add a little bit of an effect and I can add a flicker effect and I'm just going to make it super slow and you can add it you know like this as well but like this, so I'm going to add a very subtle flicker animation. Then I'm going to increase the time frame. So I want to give my viewers 10 seconds to answer a question. So I'm going to extend this frame till 10 seconds. Then I'm going to go into text and I will go into my basic heading text or to make it easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements, go into shapes, and then just take this rounded square. And then you're just going to size it like this and then copy and paste this block. So I'm just going to resize it a little like this and place these like this. And then after that, I'm going to change the color. You can change it to whatever you want. Now I'm just going to select them all together to make this easier. So I'm going to select them in white and then from here I'm going to add this another block but this is going to be green like this and after that I can add you know the letters so if I go ahead and add a circular option I can go ahead and change the color on this to make this a bit different like this I'm going to go with black and then just place these over here so I can reflect the option numbers over here and then go into text. And then we're just going to add some heading text, which is going to be A. And then we're going to make it white in color like this. Once you do that, just do Command C and Command V and place it all together. And then just change the option names to A, B, C. From here, I'm going to add a timer like this and once I add a timer I can go into the elements section and we can pick out any timer it's totally up to you so you can pick out any timer that you like 
like this one over here as well, but I don't want to animate that. I'm going to go with something simple. So I think I'm going to go with this one over here like this. And then on the top, now I can go into add the heading or the question. You can customize the font styles later on. So what is the capital of France like this? And then we're going to add our potential answers. So I'm just going to resize my question over here. And then I'm going to do command C, command V, Paris. And then I'm going to change the color on this text to black instead. And then just place this over here. Do it again and again like this. Korea, Italy, like this. And then after that, I can add some images as well. So going to elements and then just search for France. And I can go into photos or to make this even more interactive, you can add a video over here like this. And I can just place that over here. But I'm not going to go with the video. I just want to use an image over here like this. Now I want to give my viewers eight seconds to answer. So this is five, you know, this is a 10 second video. So halfway through around here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the preview and then split the page. And then we're going to move the green bar over here. And then I am going to animate this and I'm going to add a flicker or a pulse effect like this one. And you can add a, you know, a larger intensity as well. Or you can, you know, make it super fast. I'm going to keep it at a smaller intensity, but I'm going to increase the size of that. And now if I show you guys what it's going to look like. So this is our little YouTube quiz that we have. What is the capital of France? And then we have, you know, the time to answer. And you can add one, two, three, and then we have Paris like this. Obviously, to make this smoother, you can add transitions uh, to further elevate how it's going to look. So mesh and move like this. You can do that as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with your quizzes. Now, to build more of these, it's very simple. You're just going to duplicate this page like this again and move it to the end and click on apps and then search for bulk create. And once you search for bulk create, you can just enter all of your data. Click on enter data manually and click on clear table. And you're just going to build your first question and then the three answers. And then you can just insert that data like this into these text blocks and then just split the screen and then use the green animation. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.